Hey, 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 Mike here with another video. So in today's video, I wanted to look at mono repos versus, versus multi repos or distributed repos. So this is something that comes up quite a lot when I move between contracts is should we have all of our Terraform code in one repository with all of our modules and all our state files and everything in the one place? Or should we split it out into multiple repositories? And the answer from my perspective is you should always go with multiple repositories. I can definitely see the benefits to going with one repository, but multiple repositories gives you all kinds of pros, gives you all kinds of benefits. So in doing this, I did I did look at quite a few websites. You can see I've Googled it here, and I came across quite a few pretty good resources on the, on the matter. It's, there's a lot of great points in either direction of mono repo versus uh, multi repo pros and cons and you know the the mono when you're choosing between the blah, 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 blah. when you're choosing between the two I'll speak I'll, I'll learn to speak one day you've got code reusability definitely with mono repos it does make it easier to include modules and things between various state files however Sorry, but when you go to multi repos, it is definitely harder because you've now got a reference and an entirely different repository and they're a different address and you've got access concerns with that as well. And depending on what's running your actual Terraform in it and what's actually downloading those files will decide whether or not you have difficulty in authenticating against that repository and you've got to manage that. Whereas everything's just in the one repository, then of course you just do a relative path include of that module. So pros and cons, definitely build and deployment speed. Yeah, you've got multi repos. Uh, I would say build speed with multi repos is, is slower. You've got to clone all those repos into your build system, all into the one build uh, pipeline, and then you've got to build everything. And that does take longer. However, with, um, with a mono repo, that will be quicker. However, again, I think it's better there. One of the benefits there is if you're pulling from multiple repositories, then you are you are essentially pinning all of those repositories to a specific version, which gives you a lot of stability, which I like. And so I would rather get rid of some speed. I'd rather lose some speed in return for stability by being able to pin those build artifacts, those repos that you're pulling in, which are effectively artifacts to help you with the whole build process. I would rather pin them to a version and gain stability there. Collaboration is definitely another one. Um, mono repos do make it easy for develop developers to collaborate and share knowledge, but they definitely don't give you the benefit of stability or security. So I'd actually argue that collaboration is better when you have multi repositories because they have independent commit logs, uh, commit logs actually commit history, I should say. They're, they're version controlled individually. They have their own documentation. They have their own issues. And it's very easy to understand who's working on what without having to work your way through an entire git commit and pull out commits that pertain to the things that you're interested in. So definitely true. Version control, again, yeah, you can pin versions on a multi on a multi repo because you can use ref headers when you're pulling in. Complex C mono repos can get more complex. I would say the biggest thing here with complex C and mono repos is the CI CD stacks. If you've got a Terraform repository that's a mono repo and you've got like six environments and you've got like say 12, 13, 14 modules, you can't individually version control them. But then when it comes to doing your CI CD and you're making changes, you've got to craft this workflow file that is able to discern what changed and what pipelines need to be run and where. Because if a module changed, well, do I need to lint the entire code base or just the one module? Okay, well, what module changed? Where do I need to CD into in order to see it? And it's, it's possible to do, but it does make it more difficult. So that was a good article. Lots of different articles here from some company, company Kinsta. Never even heard of Kinsta. They've got some really good things on low barriers of entry, centrally located code mines and painless refactoring. Raft, I've got uh, a good article on the matter. As you can see, it's a, it's a really, it is a really, it's a big problem, so to say. Do you go with a mono or do you go with a multi? I would always say just start with multi. Just break it out straight away unless it's literally just a proof of concept. At the moment, it goes from proof of concept to minimal viable product. You should just break it out into multiple repositories straight away. You should just make it easier on yourself today because taking a mono repo to a multi repo can be a very complicated job. So with regards to Terraform, with regards to your Ansible, with regards to your code, I think you should always start with a monorepo. But what do you think? 
let me know in the comments below if you use a mono repo or multi repos at work i'm interested to learn how other people do this so reach down in the comments below and hopefully i'll see you in the next video